Hi, it's Nayland. So today, let's talk about landscaping. So the example that we are using is the gazebo that we have built previously on this channel, except for this section here, which has just simple slabs that are of different sizes, different shapes, and different colors. And they have been combined to just create this beautiful conversational space. All right, back to the tips. So tip number one is the surface treatment. So this is what I mean. If you ever desire to create this effect where the soft green surface weaves into the hard walkable surface, then it would help if you considered these and treated them as two distinct surfaces, which they are essentially. So you have this green area and this hard surface area. And if I can go to my Archicad file here, if I tried to select one of these slabs and delete them, that area has been cut off from the base mesh. So I will Control Z to undo that. In order to explain this, I'm going to leave this part and you will see that this slab has not been separated from the base mesh. So I will keep it there and now I'm going to try to go to twin motion and then direct link and we see what happens. So you can see that for this very example, this part of the hard surface has been treated in a more natural way. But when you look at this area right here, we can see that we have this undesirable effect, which is not going to happen in real life where you have the green grass growing from the base mesh through the concrete and showing up here. It is important that you subtract the part that you want to remain as hard. So right now I'm going to show you just how I did this. So it's actually easy to do. I will go to the ground floor and I'm going to try to create a path to this part where the space we have created is. So in order to do this, I'm going to try and remove this, move them just a bit. So I'm going to get this hole that was created in the mesh and I'm going to multiply it along here. So if I try to measure by pressing M, you can see that from there to there should be about 650. So I'm going to multiply this by hitting Ctrl U to multiply with that hole selected. And I'm going to multiply it by 650 and I will move these copies until I reach there. And secondly, I'm going to also get this one and Ctrl U to multiply and I'm going to multiply these openings. Also remember, we have a hard surface there, so we can subtract this area, this whole thing, this whole design from the base mesh. This is what it looks like in 3D. Yes, so this is what we have, but obviously we need to fill it with the hard surface. So we will go back and bring back these slabs, select them, Ctrl D to drag and place them here and then Ctrl U to multiply them with the 650 up to when we get to this space here. And if you like, you can subtract from these two, click one of the sides and with subtract from polygon selected, we can remove that section such that we have that. So let's try and go back to twin motion. So go to twin motion, direct link. So we can see some stuff has gone wrong. We have uh, lost some of our materials, which is easy to do. We can put back the material, grab the material and place it in. And these materials that we have brought in we can spread this here. If we try to go to 
context and scatter we need to get grass which is detailed so we go to detail grass and get one of these drop it here and once we begin to place it you can definitely begin to see that we no longer have the same problem so the second idea is surface detailing and here's what i mean trees and some shrubs tend to raise the ground around them and it's details like those that will push your realism to our renders. So how do we achieve this raised ground effect? Well, first, we need to be deliberate about it. So if we go back to Archicad, we could decide that from this base mesh, we can subtract this portion and allow the tree to grow. So let's subtract this area around there. And we could also create a curb of sorts around it. So let's use the slab tool. So Alt click to keep to pick this slab, and then we can space click to fill it in. And let's subtract the inner portion here so that we have created a deliberate area like this for where the tree is supposed to grow, and we can in a rendering software raise that portion another example we could be deliberate about the portion where the shrubs are going to grow so we can get this base mesh and subtract the area where the shrub is going to grow and so is this area where we intend to put like a hedge along that path in 3d those deliberate decisions so when we go in the rendering software we will just fill in those gaps so let's direct link and see what happens in the rendering in here this ground plane isn't much of helpful the plane that however will make a difference is the landscape in the landscapes we have the flat ground so if we chose something like that and loaded it in this has the capability to be sculpted so from in here you can see we have the options to raise to flatten to dig to smoothen and all those things for this ground plane so if we decided to raise like the portion here you clicked you can see that it's that's way too big yeah we need to be careful on the size for example so let's take like five meters and reduce the intensity a bit and yeah you can see that that is a little bit more acceptable but but again once you're happy you can paint the landscape when you go to the landscape and paint terrain choose the one that you like and paint and already we are having that beautiful effect all right the final tip is mass placement and this is what i mean so apart from the objects that are deliberate like this tree right here and that tree right there and some of the hedges like this most of the things that you want to put in the background of your project aren't really going to be necessarily well thought of as the others so you want to be familiar with the software's way of placing some of this vegetation so you're not overwhelmed with a lot of this work so even if you were using Lumion, you can see how it's easy to use mass placement using control click to add many points adjusting the sliders for, for the vegetation count variating the sizes and the heights and the, the edge of the plant and also adding multiple plants to the collection or using twin motions way of scattering 
uh, vegetation around the landscape can be very very helpful both to create the tall plants and the tiny shrubs that are around it so that's it for today hope you enjoyed it hit the like button if you did and subscribe below now see you in the next one bye